Hey, what's up guys? So uh, today we're going to show you how to upgrade your FAT PS3's hard drive. Uh, so for this we're going to be using uh, a 320 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, so let's get started. So first step is go to this website and download the latest update for the PS3. Uh, so depending on what time you're watching this, uh, right now 4.31 is out. So uh, that's what's going to be downloading. And then right when it gets done downloading, go ahead and put in a flash drive in your computer. Go ahead and open up the flash drive folder, make a new folder, name it PS3, and uh, once you get that named, go ahead and open it up, and then make another folder, and name that update. So let me just do this quick. And I don't know if it has to be in all caps, uh, but I would just make it in all caps just to be sure. And then open up the update folder, and then drag the uh, PS3 update file right into there, and let it transfer over. So just hold on to this flash drive because we're going to be needing it in, in a little bit. So now uh, you can either use that same flash drive or get a new one or something. Go to save data utility on your PS3 under the game section and we're going to be syncing over all of your uh, save game data from the games. Uh, this is just optional if you uh, want to save all that if you had another PS3 before. So you can just go ahead and press triangle, go to copy multiple, go to select all and then it'll make a checkbox on, on all of them. Uh, but just note, some might not be able to transfer. Uh, so some games such as Dead Island, uh, they simply just don't transfer over uh, for, I don't know what reason, but they're just locked. You can't do that. Uh, so now go ahead and take your PS3, and here is the part where we need to uh, get out some of the tools. Uh, so the tool that I'm going to need, uh, right after I pop this cover open on the... Uh, on the side of the PS3, uh, depending on which way you're looking at it. Uh, that right there is the hard drive, so just take a small screwdriver and uh, just open that, or take that screw off right there. Uh, the screw is pretty easy to recognize, so you don't need to really keep it separate from anything. So I'm just going to take this off. Just pretty much just pull this little metal plate off and then the whole hard drive come with, comes with it. Now, depending on how long you've had your PS3, there might be quite a bit of dust on it, or it might be just clean. Uh, I'd recommend cleaning off as much of the dust as you can. Don't use anything that's wet. Uh, just kind of blow it off or something. And now we're going to need to unscrew the hard drive out of the uh, bracket-like thing. So uh, there should be four screws, uh, each on a side or two on each side. And so just do that. Okay, and once you get that done, go ahead and take the hard drive out. It should just slide right out. Alright, and then just set that to the side and go ahead and pick up the new hard drive. And go ahead and take that and put it right back into place. Uh, it should be the sticker side up and also the um, the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like the, the port side, uh, going into the PS3. So let's just go ahead and put the screws back in there, and then, uh, we will insert it back to the PS3. Alright, so let's take that, just slides right in, and then go ahead and put the screw back on, and then put that little special plate right back on there. And now we're going to need to start up the PS3, so just listen closely. Okay, so what I just did there is held it down until it beeped, I think, three times. Now I held it down again until it beeped twice and then a double beep and then once it beeps or has that double beep just uh, let go and now it should come up in safe mode what you're going to need to do is plug in your controller uh, it has to be wired go to restore ps3 system and this will just format the whole hard drive so it'll actually work uh, so just do that and then we'll come back when it's done so put in that flash drive that has the update file on it and then this should come up and then go ahead on the controller press start and select at the same time and I'll go and check that flash drive for the update data and as you can see it found it so now we're going to go ahead and press the uh, start and select button for five seconds you got to hold those down and then it'll go ahead and continue with the update 
and then pretty much what is going to happen when it gets done is that you're going to pretty much have a brand new PS3. Uh, well, you're going to think it's a brand new PS3. It's going to be exactly like how it was when you started up uh, the PS3 for the first time. Uh, you know, use whatever HDMI or component or composite, whatever you used before. Uh, just try to kind of clone the settings that you had before. And uh, as we can, you can see, go to settings, go to system settings, scroll all the way down to the second to last to the bottom, uh, the system information, as you can see, that it is the it is recognizing the 320 gigabyte hard drive. Now we're going to need to copy back over that data, so go to save data utility and find the flash drive and uh, your save data stuff should be on there and just go to copy multiple and just copy them all back. Uh, some things to note that you're going to have to re-download all of the add-ons and everything uh, but that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, you won't lose anything in there but please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos and uh, I'll see you guys later.